Welcome to another tutorial for the TI-30X Plus MathPrint Calculator. In this session, we explore three different ways to calculate depreciation based on the declining balance method. Suppose you paid $40,000 for a new car back in 2014. Each year, the value of the car declines. In financial terms, this is called depreciation. In 2015, the car has depreciated by $4,000 and is valued at $36,000. The declining balance method looks at the percentage change. In the 12-month period, the car has depreciated by 10%. Using this rate, the value of the car in 2016 is reduced by 10% of $36,000, the declining balance. So in 2016, the car is worth $32,400. The depreciation continues for the life of the vehicle. So what will the car be worth in 2021? These calculations can be done using the calculator's lists. Make sure all the lists are cleared and ready for use. Enter the original price of the car in list 1. We will use a formula in list 2. The value of the car after the first year is equal to the original value minus 10% of this value. The first element in list 2 is the declining balance. Now we can enter that as the current value in list 1. The new balance is automatically calculated and is based on this declining value. We can continue transferring this declining balance into list 1. The calculator is working kind of like a manual spreadsheet. Now we see the value of the car in 2021. The same calculations can be done directly on the calculator's home screen. Starting with the original price of $40,000, press enter. That makes the answer equal to $40,000. Now we can make use of the answer as the reducing balance. The declining balance is equal to the original value less 10%. Now, just keep pressing Enter to view the declining balance. You can scroll back through the calculations to check the balance at any time. The problem with each of these methods is the amount of time it takes to perform the calculation, particularly if the item was being depreciated for 20 years or more. If we look at the simplified calculation, then we can see that the formula becomes So, depreciating a $40,000 car over 7 years? Simple. That's all for this tutorial. If you'd like to see how to do more calculations on the TI-30X Plus MathPrint Calculator, be sure to leave a comment below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date as more tutorials are added to this series. Thanks for watching.